Welcome, Hello. Internet, to The Solution. It has been a while since we've done a Saturday Solution, yeah? It's been... How long has it been? Four weeks? Three weeks? Oh, it's been a minute. It's been yeah. a minute. It, like, it's been enough of a minute that I honestly feel real weird doing this right now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange. It's kind of strange. Um, we got together, the two of us here... Uh, significantly earlier than this has started because yeah. I needed a recap because it's been so long. Yeah. I didn't remember what we were talking about. I didn't remember any of our theories. We've I didn't been, remember. We've been hanging time, out so. for like an hour and a half now. and so Yeah. yeah. So you're jumping in but the I think middle we got of it our now, conversation, so. weirdly. <laughs> Hi, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so, yeah. yeah, this is the solution. I'm Emily, and that's Trey Below Me, and uh, we're doing Hunt a Killer. We are on box six of the third season of Hunt a Killer. It's called Initiation. And this is the final box, and we're going to find out, hopefully, um, this time or maybe next time, uh, a resolution to everything that has been building for the last six months. And I'm no, very, very excited. No, I am making a commitment here today. We are finishing this box, even if it takes an hour and a half. Unless you don't have the time. I guess I didn't ask this before we started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm good. Okay. I, got a, I got a play to go to later. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm good all for right. a while. We could, we could probably be done before the play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we just know though. Throw that yeah. curveball at you. <laughs> there, it, there might be a lot more here than we think. We haven't. That's got, true. We actually haven't gone true. through. Any, yeah, we kind of like skimmed some of these um, before we started, but the vast majority of this, I don't, I don't have details on yet. So this might be a really long episode. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if, all right. If it looks like this is going to be nonsense, we'll stop. But, all yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Um. But yeah, let's let's get started. Trey, do you want to give us a recap of um, a lot yeah, of things, probably? I absolutely do. Okay, so we have some stuff going on before we get into what this box is, because I think Emily and I both have a good idea of what's going to be in this box, because we're smart people and we figured this out already. Um, but here's what we have going on. We have some working theories that we've developed since the start of this thing. So starting with box one, we started. We had all these letters from Sylvia. They we realized uh, later that they were coming out of order. Um, we've been getting newspaper clippings that we still don't know what they really are for other than describing some of the events mentioned in letters that we've gotten. Um, one of the other things that is kind of an unclosed loop at this point is um, in the first box, they mentioned this COBRA program. Um, we don't have, it was never brought up again. Not not once. Am I, am I wrong about that? Not that I remember. Yeah, Unless it, it was somewhere that we didn't see or didn't notice. But I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, it was just never brought up again. And so we're hoping that loop gets closed in the near future, uh, as in today. Um, and so there was these, these weird, three weird Cobra letters. Um, we're hoping that gets solved. Um, some other things that we have b believed that have been going on. Uh, about around box three, we started to develop a theory that... Um, Jasper was everybody. <laughs> like everybody that we were interacting with, at Listening Friends of America, all the people we were receiving letters from, we started to really get a working theory that he was all of them. Um, and so we have have not felt differently since then. Um, as we've moved forward, things have gotten stranger and stranger and stranger. There was a dead person that showed up at the Bozeman, Montana um listening friends of america facility which is the facility jasper is housed at um we've been sent a number of strange objects um and is this the one there's been a sheriff that has been involved with um, it was yeah it was this the last investigation box. um uh, randall dietrich and there it wasn't that one um there, in the last letter we got from him, some things got really strange. Uh, he basically kind of started to tell us, Hey guys, everything's cool. Don't worry about it. It's all right here. How are you? We're everything's fine though. Don't don't worry. Wait, we'll wait, be sorry okay. I freaked out. Yeah, sorry I freaked out I'm about all that stuff cool. for several months. It's it's cool, man. Like, but don't worry about it. Don't come here. I'll come to you. Okay, bye. Yeah. Uh, Super it, awkward. Letter. That was that was the summary. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super accurate. Uh, um, maybe just don't. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And so that 
kind of started to confirm a lot of the working theories we had with uh, that Jasper was everybody, and now we think the sheriff is dead. <laughs> Um, Pretty sure. Yeah, we've solved some puzzles, sure. a lot of them surrounding clocks. Uh, we we uh, we know Jasper was a watchmaker, um, so the puzzles surrounding clocks are not strange. Um, he has made mention of his machine uh, a couple times in his letters, uh, but they're very vague references. There's nothing specific. Um, and again, we can assume he's referring to clocks. Um, but then in the last box, we also got an introduction to some of Jasper's jazz tastes. Um do you remember what it was about Mantica that was different than the rest? I think it was a different, uh, different. It was, it was, it the, was, only it was one the only one wasn't... not performed by Miles Davis. That was, mm-hmm. um, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, no, you're fine. But yeah, so it was the only one that wasn't performed by Miles Davis. And that was really the, the thing that stood out here, but I don't think we really extracted much else from that. If that's true. Was it Miles Davis? It wasn't Miles Davis. Who was it? I don't remember. Hold on. Let's look. What's another one of the thongs? Body uh, and soul? One that I know you're going to reference it by. Uh, between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Felonious Monk. There we go. Yeah. Got it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was the only one not performed by Thelonious Monk. Um, and, and it was the other person that was mentioned in the letter, which I think was Busy Collette. I think that's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and the other weird part of that relationship seemed to be that Thelonious Monk and Dizzy Gillespie both had performed many of the same songs, um, yeah. which was an interesting fact I personally learned about jazz is that, you know, everybody just plays everybody else's stuff like all the time. Which is fine by which, me. It's pretty cool. I kind of dig it. Yeah. Um, and so that brings us kind of around to the sixth and final box, which we are here to open today. We have many unanswered questions. Um, is Jasper everybody? What the hell happened to the sheriff? Um, what's up with Meg? We've been asking what's up with Meg since box two. She's weird. Um, <clears throat> Super weird. Yeah. Uh, we want to know more about the Cobra thing. Like that just never came up again. Weird. Um, Felix seems to be getting stranger as time goes on. What's up with Felix? Like if we can answer some of these questions, uh, that would be awesome. And finally, like I, yeah, is Jasper everybody? That's that's the big one I'm for me. I'm fairly sure. I'm pretty confident, but I want to know. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's jump in. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the letter from Felix, as we always do. Do it. Uh, all right. Listening friend. I thank you for continuing to do your part in keeping Mr. Flowers focused on maintaining the status quo. Your participation has ensured that he believes his plan is going off without a hitch. But in his ignorance, I am ready with my own brand of hitch. If Mr. Flowers is up to what I believe he is up to, a foregone certainty, then he must be close to finished. Follow his instructions up to the last. The hitch should arrive just in time. Regal Kinship, Felix. Seems pretty confident. Yeah. Sorry, I had to look at the formatting of a previous letter. Something here? Something. Note the spacing on these paragraphs. Yeah. uh, Yeah. (laughs) Looks a lot like this sheriff letter. Yep. Yep. And not like Felix's previous letter. But also not like Meg's new letter. Here. Wait, you have a new letter from Meg? Yeah, you're on it. Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't uh, have Meg's new letter. Oh, shit, really? No, guess who gets to read Meg's new letter? Okay, great. I didn't put it in there, really? Nope. Aw, oh, I'm a stupid. Sorry. Is there, is there a digital version I can make it happen real quick? Um, mm, probably, but I'll just read it real quick and then I'll upload it and we can take a look. Okay. I'll let you add it while I'm doing something else. So great. That, yeah. Go ahead. Works for me. Uh, so dear listening friend, I have no more loose ends. How exciting. I enjoyed taking the pictures of everyone for the directory of the plays of the listening friends of America facility here in Bozeman. I realized that photography was such a large part of my life because it really is a fun hobby. It can be very technical or it can be very simple. 
point, shoot, focus. I believe that when this, all, this is all over, <clears throat> excuse me, I will take on more excursions outside. I would very much like to take more nature photographs. It is a good way to study things without getting my hands dirty. I know, I know. Where is the fun in that? Did she never speak with contractions, or is that just today? I don't know. Uh, we'll look at that in a second while I upload this thing. Um, I think it will focus on frogs, no pun intended. <clears throat> pun? Uh, did you know that we share many common traits? We, we all stem from a common ancestor. Way back in the beginning of matter, before life began, everything was just Adam. You, me, and frogs, I mean. The rhythmic chirping of frogs at night is not unlike the quickening pulse of blood pumping through our bodies when we are under stress. Do you think that without stress, our blood would flow more slowly? Thanks for listening, Meg Gibson, Inspector Listening Friends of America. Meg doesn't speak with contractions. Ever? Uh, I've looked at two other letters. Okay. There's not one apostrophe I I in any that. of these letters. <laughs> Does anybody else speak with it? Did the sheriff ever? Uh, he definitely did. He had that accent. Um, well, that doesn't mean... Well, I mean, it, it's very southern speaking contraction. It's the same. Uh, um, yeah, but you're the one that decided he was southern. <laughs> that's true. I did just kind of make that conclusion. Didn't I? <laughs> I, I, sorry. I, that, that's canon now. Sorry. Sorry, Hunter Killer. It's canon. Um... <laughs> I am back to box something. Box two box with no contractions. Box two with no contractions. Hmm. Let me look at box one. If there's contractions That's in box, a little weird. if there's contractions in box one, we missed something way early. That's true. letter is significantly longer than the rest. The first one? Yeah. Uh, man, no. But she's got real good proper grammar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. At some point, she does say fam. Fam? Yeah. It's always nice to grow the fam. Especially when we uh -huh. all fit together. That's the closest thing to a contraction I've seen. Yeah, that's not really... I mean... It is very slangy. Yeah. And Jasper, if that's what we're thinking, is not one to use slang. No, not really. Um. Okay, well... Uh, hang on two seconds. I almost got that. Oh, you're good. Okay. Um. Wait. Whoa. 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 What's up? I'm gonna mess with the order of the slides really quick. Don't freak out. Okay. The format of the letter changed a little bit after the first one. Okay. So this is a second one. Yeah? I don't know. Probably. I can't well, no, 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 see I'm sure. Little... Oh, you can't see it. So this is the... I'll, I mean, I can see I'll it, talk but to I can't the, I'll talk the to the world. Thing. This is the second one. <laughs> This is the first one. Note the header spacing on the first one. Like, the letter is perfectly centered within the paper on the first letter. But every subsequent letter, okay. the body text starts immediately below the header. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's <clears throat> one with some spacing. Okay, that's inconsistent. Shit. Hmm. That might just be... Mm, just inattention to detail? It could be. I expect better. Uh. <laughs> <gasps> do, you, do you know what they go through? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know. I'm Picky. a jerk. I'm a jerk. Um, okay. Uh, 
All right. So other than the fact Meg does not use contractions, weird. Uh, we have a letter from Jasper. Yeah. All right. Uh, this may very well tell us everything we want to know. We don't know. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe. Dear old friend, there is one more piece to bring the machine up and running. My machine, I will personally feel relieved to know you are helping us. Manny preferred... Anadama? We're going to need to Google that word. Uh, Manny preferred I'm Anadama. The purpose of a clock is to tell the time. To display hours, minutes, and seconds is its function. That is what makes a clock a clock. It is the vernacular of horologists. Any information displayed by a clock or a watch beyond hours, minutes, and seconds. The very things that are fundamental to making a clock a clock. It is noted as an additional complication. I have heard that most complications successfully incorporated into a pocket watch is 57. Personally, I have had many complications over the past few months. It was more trouble than it should have been to make all of that time up. All of them have provided me with useful information. I have learned so much. Brioche was the mirror. This is fucking cryptic. It is easy to say that I am just a patient, but what of the others? Do you not think that there should be other voices from inside the facility? What patients do we have here? Uh, what patients do we do have here are a bit quirky, but I think they are a bunch of really nice people. The pickings were slim, and most of these do not work. I was one of those four horsemen. You saw him, the man on the horse in my journal. I was told when I first came here that I would be restricted to my role within the system. I learned very quickly that there is a uniqueness to how this place runs. I thought it was maybe, I thought it was the people, Meg, Willa, even Clark, the Garden Siabata. Assuming that means garden keeper or something. I thought when I arrived that I would very much like to know what they know, to get inside their heads and better understand such a complicated system. Maybe I could follow through where they failed to put things together. I also want you to know that everything here is running very smoothly. With everything running so smoothly, I feel very accomplished. Do you know that I'm going on vacation soon? I need a little rest. This project of mine, a research project, became a real mountain out of a molehill. See for yourself. I'm handing you some of my notes. I'm also giving you something I have come to greatly enjoy. Most people who get one of my little toys do not get a chance to play with them. Though they do touch their hearts. I promise you that. On a more serious note, I need you to do something. You have seen the encryptions. You, I have given you access. What I need you to do is take the information from the files you uncovered, put it all together. Follow the six breadcrumbs and you will find the feast. Mbasha for the heartbeat. When you find the little gears hidden in the machinery, you must put them together in the correct order. All these levers and gears work together to correct a glaring irregularity in the machine until it achieves the perfect balance. Tea cakes in pieces. The last door to go through is the back door of the back door. Be careful where you go. Passenger gets pumpernickel. Truly, Jasper. So these are all breads. Ciabatta. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Anadama? Anadama? I'm gonna bread go with... is it's a bread, uh, and then there's brioche, so A B, and then ciabatta, which is C, and then there's what well, next one? Himbasha, I'm guessing is a bread. I don't know for sure. Yeah. And then pumpernickel. 
I hate pumper knuckle, by the way. I like it in one very specific sandwich. I don't, I don't like most rye specific. breads. I don't know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> nah. Fun fact. Arda <laughs> choke me hard, daddy. What? Bread, my favorite. I don't know who you are, but you have a great screen name. Welcome. Whoa, wait a beautiful. minute. Beautiful. <laughs> Bumper nickel translates to fart goblin. Thank you. That's a very good that's a very good name. Um It's fantastic. All right. So interesting. So bread? I guess I don't know, bread. man. Okay. Bread. Sure. There's a bunch of bread in here. Don't know what that means. Um then we start to get into some of the paperwork. Um we have a Bozeman Fire Facility escape plan with X's and numbers. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, and a very important thing to notice on the Bozeman Facility Fire Escape Plan, very bad, to Cobra Stations. That is the only other time we have seen Cobra mentioned, other than in the first box. Right. Interesting. So, like, where's... Uh, so, there's three, four... Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Where's one, two? Where's Yeah, where's one and two? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, weird. <laughs> The murder weapon is definitely a baguette that was frozen and sharp to a point, our new friend says. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting theory. Definitely. Left him out in the woods all butt hanging out. Interesting theory. Um jewelry repair report. <clears throat> um okay. Sorry, I moved on from the map. I yeah, don't know what fine. to make of this right now. Hey, hey, thanks, thanks for, for the, the follow, follow man. Um, or lady. I guess anyone could get artichoked. Um, <laughs> every, everybody likes an artichoke. Uh, <laughs> um, jewelry repair record. There's names. Manuel, yeah, I can Manuel. read some of this. Manuel. Manuel. Dibber. <laughs> Dibber Morber. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, Dirk, Dirk Bermer. <laughs> Nathan Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, everybody can get choked here, man. All on board. Uh, Donovan Garver. Megan Gibson. Mm -hmm. Mavis mm -hmm. we know her. Wilson. Bowen Carlson. Bowen Carlson. Andy Mac Hummenden. May. May Hummond. Hummel. Hummel? Hummel? Sure, Hummel. Hummond makes less sense. Jerry McKenna, Esther Edens, Malcolm Stevens, whoops, Willa Cortez, Randall Dietrich. Oh, Sheriff. Wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Is this really about jewelry? I mean. This isn't about jewelry. It says skin, I think. That's creepy. Um, yeah. Special notes. Taxidermy. Quiet, predatory, short-sighted, tired, incompetent, had sen had bad sense of humor, deliberate, resourceful, enthusiastic. I think these are about all the people. Uh, outdoorsy, elitist, but sophisticated, optimistic, energetic, serious, Amicable, weird. Price charged, rent, null. Work done. Oh God, work done. Hands, teeth, heart, rib cage, repairing, fly adjustment, hands, face, right, spinal adjustment, case finishing, teeth setting, hands, flywheel, intentional, or no, internal springs, counterweight. Is he making people into a clock? Is he making people into a clock? 
that is messed up, but maybe. And artichoke meat, yes, there's an institution involved here uh, called Listening Friends of America. Uh, you've missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to catch you up. <laughs> uh, this is probably the last so episode of this particular story. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, but just as like, a, as like a super broad recap, we're following this guy that we're fairly sure is a serial killer uh, who is in a some kind of like psychiatric hospital type thing um that's called listening friends of america we get all these packages from their staff which we're fairly sure is just him because we think that he killed everybody off and this julia repair record kind of makes it sound like he killed everybody and is making him into a clock look at the repaired buys yeah i know no the repaired buys they're not all jasper who's it? the andy it's the one above Jerry and then Andy and then Jerry is for Esther and then Jasper again for some reason. And then Andy Sipper. It's like Jasper Andy and Willa. Andy crammed together. It's Andy Sipper. Um, And then Willa for Randall. Uh. I don't know what to make of that. Also note the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We don't have a 13 on that map either, but the rest of those numbers are on that map other than 1, 2, 3. Or 1, 2. Nathan's. 3. What's a th what's 3? Clark Love greenhouse. killed in the greenhouse. Oh. Oh! There, remember, remember, you remember. There was, um... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, you didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, I just got really excited. No, there was something in, I want to say in a fairly recent box, because we went over the first one, and it had the newspaper clipping about Manny and how he remembered and blah, blah, blah. So that wouldn't be on this map. And then there was some mention at some point about somebody else, they found another body, but they couldn't, like, pin it on the same... The computer museum. Is it this one? Probably. And the check yeah. cavity was excavated. Wait, so then we go down to the repair record. Uh, Heart, rib cage, spring, fly adjustment. Nathan Smith. Whoa. Ugh. Okay. This got like real dark. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Who else don't we know on this list? We don't know Mavis Wilson. We don't know Bowen Carlson. <clears throat> We don't know Andy May Hummel. We don't know Jerry McKenna. We, we might. don't know Esther Edens. They may have been mentioned. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't know Donovan Garver. Yes, we do. It's oh, we need to keep going. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're going to skip over the frog for a minute because I'm pretty sure there's a puzzle here that probably has to do with all of these dismembered people. Um... So let's look at this employee directory we were also sent. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Good point, Artichoke. Uh, it says case number is age. Case number is age. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, my God. It freaked out again. Oh, God. It freaked out again. How old is the same Megan was? Yeah, 33. That seems about right. Um, Willa, yeah. 34. Sheriff was 48. Yeah. Manny would have been 35. And Clark, this, 43. This that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And he wasn't discriminatory about age or gender in his killing. Mm. Why do they all say skin? <clears throat> um, I don't know, but it's so creepy. And 
Also, he. Oh. He's like all zeros. Uh. What? <laughs> under um, Manny's, under price charged, it says rent. Ugh. <laughs> oh. You remember that was like part of their original dispute for uh-huh. his first kill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Does Megan say infected? Megan, Megan, Megan. Megan Gibson. No, Inspector. She's the inspector that, uh, in theory, goes through all of the stuff. Um, bef- like, that she intakes from Jasper, and then she'll inspect everything, and then she'll send it up. Yeah. Oh, we didn't look at the inspection. It's her title. We didn't look at the inspection list from the last box. Ooh, I don't think we looked at the inspection list for, like, the last... Oh. There was usually, like, little notes in there. Yeah. Oops. I, they, I don't think they were anything that was, like, super... I think they were to kind of get us... Oh, uh, okay, okay. ...moving on the puzzles. Um, But, yeah, we should take a look at this little uh, brochure. brochure. All right, so mm-hmm. this guy is clearly way too happy. <laughs> yeah, he's real jazzed about life. <laughs> it was important. I had to do that. Um... <laughs> Campus yeah, safety. Fair. You want to read some of? The, you want to read this this one? Yeah. So okay. So um. Why does this woman have her eyes covered? I don't know. Wait until we get to the next pages. It's way worse. Oh, sure. uh, Listening Friends of America Bozeman facility employee directory introduction. This is the employee directory for the Listening Friends of America Bozeman do, Mo- Montana Chuck, facility. I really do. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, do, 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 do. The purpose of this directory is to provide a profile and contact information for every employee. Each profile will include the employee's name, job title, room number, extension number, a brief biography, and a quote of the employee's choice. For internal use only, do not distribute to patients. All employee... All employee photos oh. are current. Um, Except for, like, weird? I don't know if you guys can tell because I scan these and use lightens it this a little looks bit weird. too far. Something's weird. It, it looks like it's meant to be taped on. Oh, it's like over top of a logo it. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it just says all employee photos. It's extra creepy. As soon as we get to that point, let me read this other side really quick. Uh, personal safety on campus. Bozeman facility works to ensure patients, employees, and visitors have a safe and secure environment on campus. A security offer officer, officer, Donovan Garver, is on duty around the clock each day to provide physical safety, first aid response, and other assistance. Sound like he's a really hard worker. Good Our security patrols our buildings to other property and effectively respond to emergency situations. A safe campus also requires community vigilance. We must all take responsibility for our own personal safety and remain alert to the presence of strangers. Be aware of suspicious looking persons who enter the ground. If you see someone who does not belong or if you're being followed, report it to Donovan Garver immediately by calling 555. Remember, report suspicious looking person, such as this lady on this bench with her little grocery bag next to her. She looks very suspicious. <laughs> so the next two pages, or the next two like open folds, I guess, are extra creepy. Um, they are oh, these are dead people of everybody. Mm-hmm. And I, again, I don't know if you guys can really see it super clearly, but it looks like somebody, Jasper, probably took pictures <laughs> of these folks after they uh, had expired and masking taped them over their original pictures and then photocopied the whole thing and now it's in a brochure and it's very creepy. Bowen Carlson, orderly. Bowen is working toward his and at... Oh, A&D. 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 I thought it was and. Bowen is working towards his A&D at Gatlin County Community College and hopes to become a registered nurse when he has completed his studies. He was a member of the U.S. Army Reserve for six years. He first joined the LFAO on summer work-study internship and is now proud to be a full-time employee. When he's not working, Bowen can be found orienteering a cross-country skiing or ice fishing. He who dares wins. David Sterling. So... Yeah, I don't think it's necessary to really go through all <laughs> No, we don't have to read them all. But, like, <laughs> but yeah, no, when you do uh, read them all yourselves, do it in that voice. It's more fun. Um, for sure. I think the creepiest part about that is how uh, you were pointing out earlier how dissonant the, the like, happy mm-hmm. little bios are 
right next to like people that have been clearly stabbed to death. It's yeah. kind of unnerving and I don't really like it. Yeah. Yeah. There's the security guy. There's Meg. Poor Meg. Oh my god, these people are dead AF. Extra dead. So creepy. But I think they're all listed. I think all the Jerry, people that we did Jerry McKenna, Mavis Wilson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's Clark. Bye, Clark. We hardly knew ye. I have your name tag. Uh, yeah, if you want that It's got back, blood on it. Let me know. It's pretty gross. Andy May Hummel. <clears throat> all right. Um, well, they all yeah, dead. So, so they all dead. And then there's one more thing on the last page. Uh, it's a from Felix who was like the head guy of listening friends of America like he's like the head honcho boss why does it just say a facility name I don't know this might have just been a template that was picked up by some <laughs> crazy mass murderer and uh working at Listening Friends of America is working with family. You all at Facility Name are just as much family to one another as you are to <clears> me. <throat> it is my hope this directory encourages you to get to know one another and spend some leisure time as a group. Enjoy family meals, relax with a movie night, or take advantage as a group of Facility Name's many amenities. Thank you for all that you do and enjoy your time together. I am proud to be part of your family. Together, Felix. Oh, Felix. Oh, Felix. It's okay. We know all of you at Facility Name care about each other. As much as I care about putting your facility name in the... <laughs> uh, then we got some objects in this box. Uh, it looks like yeah. this was a picture frame, maybe? Yep. Picture frame. Uh, and picture frame, as far as I can tell. grasshopper. Yep. Just making sure here... Broken yeah, grasshopper. You know, Artichoke, out of all the people that we correspond with, I do think Felix is the only one that does exist. That will be a twist for I me. I think he does, and I think he's yeah. I think he's like elsewhere. I don't think he's anywhere. Yeah, that would be a in. twist for me if Felix doesn't actually exist. Um This guy so I, I, I think I asked you earlier when I saw this photo, is this grasshopper broken by shipping or broken on purpose? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't actually have a chance to ask anybody actually thing that I kind of plan on doing later okay. like looking into the forums and seeing if it was supposed to be put together but uh, I tried to put its head back on and I couldn't really figure out how it worked so okay. maybe not maybe it's supposed to be separate alright well we got puzzles uh, one thing we didn't yeah. look at yet because um, we didn't look at it yet was this frog dissection diagram mm -hmm. uh, I noticed earlier the text was backwards so we're just going to go ahead and fix that real fast cheater yeah 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 boop text is fixed um so what do you think about this frog holy uh, shit pointed out that it's a human heart and he's or she he's is totally right. entirely right oh dear lord we did not notice that we didn't so notice thank you that at all <laughs> That's creepy. Oh, it makes the clock thing even worse. Okay. <laughs> I... I don't Things understand this things. at all. Fly, fly, heart, heart, heart. Stop pin, stop pin, stop pin, stop pin, stop pin. Barrel, barrel, stop lever spring <laughs> click 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 spring spring stop lever spring 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 hammer spring hammer spring gathering gathering pallet 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 gathering pallet what the fuck yeah I think we do know where that heart ended up nasty fly 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 hard 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 stop paying nasty stop paying. nasty nasty rick tail rick tail rick tail um yeah okay it's like a weird like chant Why does it 
There's got to be a point to repeating it over and over and over again, right? Uh, probably. It only says gathering three know. times and pallet four times. Yeah. I don't know that it matters. What? <laughs> Yeah, no, this, no, this is. So Meg talked about frogs. I don't think Meg did this. Probably not. I think Jasper did this. It's gross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. Okay. I don't see any clear puzzles here. I don't know I do. where to start. I do. We have the breads. Right, but what do we do? Jasper with directly pointed us to the LFOA archive on the website. Um, and there is definitely something going on with these numbers and this jewelry sheet. That I think we need to quite kind of figure out a little bit. Uh, where are we at on time? Yeah, we can... We can figure this out. We can figure out. We can at least get this rolling. I think this is going to end up being a two-parter, despite what we said when we started. Um, despite what you said when we started. Whatever. I make outlandish claims, okay? God. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> no, it's fine, man. We got this. It's good. Um, but, yeah. All right. Let me pull up the LFA aircraft. <clears throat> Stand by for the archive. Thank right, you. All right. Okay. So the archive. Um. Uh, everything. The machine in the machine. What? He says it in one of his letters. Uh, in his letter this time. What did, what did he say? Uh, 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 he said the back door of the back door. Uh, hold on. Yeah, the back door of the back door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went in the back door to get this list. Yeah. Back door. Oh. The back door of the back door. Okay. Um... And then bread. Try. Just try the word bread. Okay. Nope. All caps. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Go away. That. Don't want that. Nope. Oh my god. Try. Nope. A, B, C. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, follow the six breadcrumbs and find the feet. Um, A, B, C. Is there six in this letter? Um, H, T, P. A, B, C, H, T, P? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. So something else about the something something else that has to do with the six <laughs> breads. Yeah. Okay. So let's write this down. Where's my? Where's Maybe my you can throw it on the slide. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on a. Oh yeah, good call. Whiteboard. Choo, choo, choo. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me get my text. Okay. Ready. So. Oh, no, no. Sec, 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 sec. Let me get my text ready. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, because this is stupid and won't let me change the default text color to be white. Uh, or I just, you know, failed to figure it out fast enough or well enough or something. Um, why? I just want text, yo. Why can't I? A 
Okay. All right, what we got? Many preferred Anadima. Wait, 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 what? Fucking God damn it! Sorry, I swore unnecessarily. Okay. I apologize. Many. How, how do you spell that? Anna. A N A D E M A. A N A. D E. D E M A. Or I'm sorry, D A M A. It's all A's. A N A D A M A. A N A D A M A. I'm on a on a dama. Yeah. The world's watching me struggle with this application at the moment. It's good time. You can do it. I have faith in you. Thank you. I appreciate your faith. Uh, Anna sure, dama. man. Got it. All right. I'm ready. Brioche was the mirror. Brioche. Wait. Okay, hold on. You're telling me the Manny part, Manny. Preferred. It's important. I think so, too. <clears throat> okay. Brioche. Brioche was the mirror. mirror. Okay. Um, Clark in the garden, Chibata. Garden. I probably just spelled Chibata wrong. It's okay. All right. Uh, Himbasha for the heartbeat. Come on, I fucked it up. How do you spell Himbasha? H I M. B. Uh, B A S H A. Okay. Tea cakes in pieces. Tea cakes in pieces. Passenger gets pumpernickel. Huh. <clears throat> yeah. Huh is accurate for sure. Manny preferred Anadama. So one that stuck out to me here was the brioche was the mirror. He mm -hmm. very clearly gave us a mirror in one of the boxes. It was that box. It was this thing. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, little jewelry box thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave us or a mirror box or whatever box. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the point of it was to reverse an image or something, right? Uh, huh. We used it on this, right? Mm-hmm. Follow the six breadcrumbs and you will find the feast. Basha, and you find the little gears hidden in the scenery. You must put them together in the correct order. Wait. All these levers and gears. Say that again. Follow the six breadcrumbs and you will find the feast. Basha, for when you find the little gears hidden in the machinery, you must put them together in the correct order. All these levers and gears work together to correct a glaring irregularity in the machine until it achieves the perfect balance. Tea cakes in pieces. The last door to go through is the back door of the back door. Be careful where you go. Passenger gets pumpernickel. Um, we have a thing. Hold on, I gotta find it. Uh... Artichoke says, Greek, French, Italian... Ethiopian, English, and German, the country of origins for the breads in order. Well, that helps. Yeah, that might actually be helpful. Thank you. Um, we have this. Yeah. Um. Ah! What? Garden, mirror. Passenger, heartbeat. Shut up! Welker Manny. I don't know. She still don't know what Welker Manny is. 
It's, I think it's just Manny. I think it's just Manny. Manny preferred Anadama. Brioche. Where's Brioche? Is the mirror. Okay, mirror. B. I don't know what to think of that. Again, balance. So, for anyone just joining us, this is a spreadsheet we've made about of all the archive documents and the Listening Friends of America archive, which, like, are these things. Um, it loads up, like, weird, screwy documents with a bunch of weird text, right? Um, so, here's my theory. We have to assemble the documents. It's some crazy-ass puzzle. Uh, let's open up. I think you might be right. Op- let's open up Garden really quick. So this is woven. Mm-hmm. Uh, the password's facet. What? is happening was it all caps maybe it was (laughs) sorry for my struggle um So remember how I speculated super early on that these documents are oddly spaced? Yeah, we talked about like the possibility of like layering them. Mm-hmm. We talked about that like box two, I think. Mm-hmm. Like real early. No, I think it was box one because we accidentally got into Oh, we accidentally stumbled into a bunch of them that were, us, that yeah. were irrelevant. Yeah, I know you're right. What if we were right? I mean, could be. I don't know if that's really doable. It's not doable right this moment. With technology, mm-hmm. I feel like I would want to print them off. Yeah, we're going to have to print them. Stack them up. Like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't. <sighs> There's obviously another step to it, right? Like, we're, we're missing some. One, two, three. Four, five. We're missing one because he said six. So we still have to open a document from this box, most likely, right? So we have to figure out a document so which, still. Which one is it? We have garden. Is there okay, anything so bread have... related? Hold on. Let's let's go back. So is there anything bread related in this damn thing? Like... Well, no. I mean, just go back to the, the spreadsheet and I could tell you which one. Are oh, right. In Jasper's letter. So it talks about Manny. We have the Manny one. It talks about the mirror. We have the mirror one. Chibata was the garden. Uh, Is garden yeah. in there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then but, Himbasha um, for the heartbeat. So heartbeat is in there. Yep. Uh, tea cakes and pieces. Is that the one we're missing? And pieces. passenger gets pumpernickel. Yeah. Tea cakes and pieces. pieces. I think actually, so... I mean, Artichoke kind of mentioned this. I don't know if that's what you were saying, but you did kind of mention this. I'm going to give you credit. Um, the document says Garden and Villain. Fifth. I don't... Fifth. Colorado Springs. Yeah, it's got to be a locked document, though. So we have Vouchsafe as an option. Uh, 
oxygen. Call. C A U L. What's that? What's a call? I'm Googling. Oh, it's like a. It's oh. a I know it in birth yeah. context. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, for anyone interested, it's the amniotic membrane enclosing a fetus. Uh, yeah, it's when your water doesn't break. That back. And into it. Or into it? Into it. What did we say we were missing? Tea cakes and pieces? Pieces? Pieces would be the word. Yeah. These aren't related. So I bet that is probably in the last document that we need to unlock. Because, you know, there's six and there's six boxes and we just haven't gotten there yet. Wait, 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 wait. So was Meg the passenger? What do you mean? Like, who who was related to Passenger in Nanny's letter? Oh, um... No one. It just says Passenger gets Pumpernickel. Did Meg like Pumpernickel? I don't know. I don't remember hearing anything... Because it's gonna about prove a bread point. in this so, entire story. So like take a look at this document real fast right here, right? Disease. Yeah. He talks about Meg being diseased, right? Where? Uh, in uh, maybe on the 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 sheet with the with the with the 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 the, the, the jewelry report. Um, oh. So then there's also Manny. He talks about teeth. For Mirror, he talks about a horseman. Like, I'm relating the words, right? So, if Meg relates to disease, then she's Pumpernickel. She and does so, it. that means these breads refer to No, people. I think you're thinking of... Artichoke had pointed out, he thought it said infected. It says inspector. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean, maybe. All right. Flywheel. Uh, irrelevant. Internal. I've gone down I've yeah. gone down a rabbit hole. This is, this is not important. Um okay. Who's Andy? Who's Jerry? Are they not on anywhere? Who are these people? I mean, they're on his repair record, but I don't know who they are. Well, um, so a couple of them. We have Meg. Here's Jerry, and here's Andy. They're they're in place. I see. Yeah. yeah. Same with Mavis. And Donovan. Well, Germany could be Germany, where Pumpernickel is from. That's that's true. <laughs> that's true. Man, all right. Me. So, ah. Come on, I made a joke. I like it. It was good. Um, Thanks. so they're. All right, so if this follows the pattern of all the other boxes, just to, like, insert some, like, metagaming logic into this. If this follows the pattern of all the other boxes, the password for this thing is not in this letter. It's related to this letter. It's in something else he sent, which is either this or this. Or, I guess... Trying grasshopper? Yeah. Mm. It came up a lot. Mm -hmm. No, okay. 
Uh, I had to put that to bed. Um, but yeah, so that means it's related to some here. So also, fun fact, heart, uh, frog. Um, mm -hmm. So... Artichoke literally just pointed that out two seconds ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um... <laughs> It's something to do with the damn frog and the heart. And the bread. Heart, frog, bread. <clears throat> heart, frog, bread. Heart, frog, bread. If I ever start a baking company, it's going to be called heart, frog, bread. No one will know why. It'd be great. Okay. That's fair. Mm -hmm. um, it's a weird dream of mine to become a baker. I don't know if you knew that. No, I don't. I didn't. It's also not a really weird dream of mine. Kind of figured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we've clearly hit a wall where we're not making much progress. This is interesting, however. So we know we need to open one more document. And then based mm -hmm. on that document, we need to assemble the documents into something. And then from that, we need to open the last document to find out what's happening? Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. Next time yeah, on The Solution. Yeah, we got a whole other week to do this. <laughs> yeah. So next time, those are the things we will be covering. Is Hopefully. All right, so what, what do we know? We know now, we know for sure, Jasper has killed everybody. We're, I'm fairly certain that he's making like a Franken person clock, which is super weird and cool because like it's cool, but like it's super gross fucking and weird. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Real fucking weird. Oh. Skin. Like Just nope. that skin written that many times in a row. Nope. I'm looking at it right now. No. No. Yeah. No. I don't like it. No. No. Thank so. You. Yeah, I guess um, come on back next time and we'll maybe have some answers. I don't know. If we could figure out how to do any of this before then. Artichoke, I'm right there with you. I'm thinking those words, the repetitiveness, it, it's going to form an equation, which is going to form mm. something else, which is probably going to inform a cipher, which is probably going to translate some letters. What letters? Don't know. Probably related to bread. <laughs> All that and more next time on the solution. <laughs> yeah, bread is like weirdly, weirdly central to this box when it has not been before. But like, yeah, kind of into it. I'm not really sure what it's about yet, but I'm kind of into it. I kind of am too. Totally excited about it. Um, I'm I'm really excited to see. Like, I, I thought that after we found out that Manny killed everybody, that I'd be like, woo, we're done, woo, cool. Now I want to know. Means now I want to know what the hell the machine is. Like it's a human clock machine, man. <laughs> I I want to believe you, but I also don't want to believe you. Oh, I want to believe me because it's creepy. Oh, it is creepy. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's the real problem. All right, but anyway, uh, so yeah, this was um the solution on Attack of Opportunity. We've been kind of on hiatus with a lot of our content lately. Um, we usually do a regularly occurring D and D game on Sundays, but that is off until correct me if I'm wrong, October seventh. October 7th. So we're off. Um, Is it the 3rd? Is it the 7th? I think it's the 7th. Am I thinking the 3rd? Um, okay. I think it's the 7th. Because it was after. Anyway. Um, Whatever. Yeah. So we will be back with Attack of Opportunity D&D &D on October 7th. Our characters are currently in Waterdeep getting into who knows what. I think the dwarves want money. Not sure. Uh, but I think yeah, so. That's going on. Uh, we have the solution continuing. We'll be back with this next Saturday, which will probably be the final episode of this particular box. We'll be picking it up with another Hunter Killer subscription box uh, probably in a couple weeks after that. Uh, we also have the solution after dark, which takes place on Monday. Not this Monday. We had some conflicts, but it will be back uh, the following week, uh, Monday, uh, which that is covering Hunter Killer's Empty Faces box series. It's basically this show, just a different topic. Um, and it's very, very spooky. Yeah, no, it is a that horror one is, campaign, uh, campaign, and it's like yeah, there's like some, cult there's like a cult, a yeah, there's cult yeah. stuff going on. We've been that one has been. Uh, while I enjoyed this box, I that one has been far more interesting to me than this one. So, yeah, I agree, and I I also think that <clears throat> I think that Hunt a Killer is. 
I don't know if I'm super correct on this, so I, you know, I don't speak for them or anything, but um, I'm fairly sure that they're a relatively young company, and I've seen, I did the first campaign for Empty Faces um, for the last five months before this, and they have, like, super duper stepped up their game, so I'm, like, really looking forward to the next season of Hunt a Killer, because I think that it's going to be, I think it's going to follow suit, nice. and it's going to be even more awesome, and I really enjoyed this one, so... Hopefully that keeps happening. All right. Well, uh, follow us on give it, follow us here on Twitch. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is great. Lots and lots of RPG memes. Uh, Colleen kills it. Uh, but yeah, she follow does. us on all the places. We are at Attack of Op at Attack of Op. Um, and we. Oh, and will... if you want to go back and uh, check yeah, out the previous YouTube. episodes of this. They're all on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, everything we do here is uh, archived to our YouTube channel. That's a... Uh, you're, follow just us on... Just search Attack of Opportunity. Yeah, just search Attack of Opportunity. The YouTube yeah. needs to do better job URL leasing. Um, <laughs> but until we return next Saturday, this was fun. And yeah. we will see you on the internets. Bye! Bye!